everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a review on the NYX Cosmetics Total Control Cover Drops, Total Control Foundation, Total Control Drop Foundation. I have the shades in 6 and 7 because I kind of have to mix to get my exact color or color-ish. They're $13.99 on Ulta's website and they have 24 colors available, which is fairly impressive, but I do have to get two in order to get my shade. Um, I lean more on number 7, but I do need number 6 to kind of lighten it up a little bit. Number 7 is also a teeny bit too yellow for me, so I do end up adding like one drop of 6 to three drops of 7. So that's my ratio. Um, but basically, this foundation has the same idea as the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, where basically you can go from sheer to full coverage. This is supposed to give you a velvet matte finish, also giving you a smooth looking complexion. One to two drops is sheer, and then three, two to three is medium, and then three plus is full coverage. Um, I did end up wearing like, I, I dropped three on my forehead, and I dropped three on each cheek as well, and then I went with the second layer with two on each. So I used quite a bit. To be honest, I used quite a bit in order to get a decent amount of coverage and just kind of the color that I needed to because I just ended up having to adjust it a little bit. First off, let's discuss the price. At $13.99, you get less than a half fluid ounce of product. The standard foundation usually has about one fluid ounce of product. You're only getting 0.43 fluid ounces or 13 milliliters, which isn't much, but it is supposed to be like a high impact foundation. So you're supposed to get a lot of good use out of it because it's so versatile. With that being said, one ounce is going to be $30, which, well, one ounce is going to be a little more than $30, which costs as much as a high end foundation. So I feel like I spent like quite a bit of money on this, but Ulta always has deals and everything. So it's not too bad. The packaging, I do like the packaging. You do have to be a bit careful because it is glass or like the fake glass. I don't know. I feel like it would shatter though. And it does have the dropper applicator. So I kind of just drop it on my face and then I use the brush to blend it out. There is a matching brush with it, but I didn't purchase it. The coverage, I would say, it claims true. If you just want sheer coverage, you could just do a few drops and you can add more if you want more coverage. I feel like that's not really an issue with this foundation. You can build up the coverage as you prefer. I did use a lot, as I said before. So the coverage is fairly nice. It won't cover like moles or anything like that. So just a heads up in case that was something you were concerned about as far as the coverage goes. It does give you a really nice velvet matte finish. It's not my preferred finish. Um, so I usually kind of, I try to like spruce it up a little bit. I mix it with oil and stuff like that just so I can get a little more hydration going in my skin. You can go in with a mattifying powder and mattify it. The foundation blends out fairly well with a brush. I do have to, it might be just the brush that I'm using though. I do have to go over it with like a beauty blender or a blending sponge and kind of like tap it a little bit just to get rid of the brush lines, but I'm pretty sure that's the brush that I'm using but otherwise it does blend really nicely into the skin it also sets really well it doesn't stay tacky for too long and I have worn sunglasses with it before and it doesn't like transfer off of my nose which is really great it stays on very well throughout the day it doesn't really crease up too much or anything like that so if you're crying or something I don't think that it will affect it too much if you have skin with a lot of texture you might want to steer clear of this one because it does emphasize texture it will get into to your pores if you don't use like a pore filling primer or anything like that or if you don't use like a blurring powder but um, as far as like texture and pores go this will emphasize them and although you will end up using like a bunch of drops to get your preferred coverage it does feel really nice and lightweight I acknowledge that I have like foundation on but it does feel nice on the skin my skin can kind of breathe like not like super I feel like it's medium for a thin foundation that you kind of layer on it feels fine um but it's not like the most breathable foundation that i've worn i will say though that i prefer this over the cover effects custom cover drops but that might just be me this one is a little more lightweight so that way it feels nicer on the skin and i mean i've had this for a while and it hasn't really like collected it hasn't like 
thickened. The Cover FX Custom Cover Drops thickened so easily and I just, I couldn't even use it anymore because it just like collected on the outside, like on the, it just collected on the glass and on the dropper and I just couldn't use it anymore after a few months. So this one stays like nice and liquidy. You do have to shake it up too after every use. So just letting you know in case like you see it separating and you're just like, Bottom line, I do like this foundation, but it's not my favorite foundation. I know a lot of people who absolutely love it, um, but for me, it's just not exactly what I'm looking for in a foundation. I think if I want a bit more coverage or something in one of my other ones, or if I need to alter the color a little bit, I probably will use this as a mixer, but otherwise, I think it might be on the back burner. If you have oily skin, though, I do recommend this. When my skin was drier, so today I did use an oil to prime my face and then it went on really well but then if I just use like my regular primer or anything something without too much slick then I find that I have a little bit more trouble with it so if you have oily skin you'll definitely like this if you have normal skin then you'll probably like this combo skin you might depending on if you have patches if you have patchy skin dry patchy skin textured skin or skin with large pores you might not like this foundation so um, if it is still something you want to give a shot, then definitely use primers that will address your concerns. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of neutral about this product. It's not really like a holy grail for me. So if it's something that you're interested in, go ahead and get it. If not, then just use your money elsewhere. So pretty much that sums up my thoughts about this foundation. Please let me know down below in the comments whether or not you've tried it and what about it works out for you, what about it doesn't work out for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!